In this video, we're going to show you how to create an Operations Center account in Organization. The value of having an account is that it connects you to your equipment, fields, and people, allowing you to make better business decisions and take action faster. The first step is to create an account. To start the process, use your internet browser, we recommend Google Chrome, to navigate to operationscenter.deer.com. Then click on the Create an Account button in the upper right corner. Choose an applicable and unique username, bearing in mind you won't be able to change this after you've created it. Enter your personal details. The fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory fields. To proceed, click Continue at the bottom of the page. Once your account is created, you will receive an email with a validation link to validate your account and complete its creation. Click on Validate Profile and you'll be prompted to set a new password and challenge question, which will help you recover your login details should you forget them. Read the terms of use in the privacy statement carefully and finally agree to them to proceed. Your password and challenge questions are now saved and your profile validated. You can then continue on the My John Deere dashboard from which you can access different applications. The next step is to create your Operations Center organization. To do this, Click on the Operations Center button under My Applications on the left-hand side. Firstly, select your country and then review your profile information before clicking Next. Select whether the account is personal or commercial. If you'd like to use the Operations Center organization for your own farm or contractor business, please use Commercial Organization. In this example, we'll select Personal. Provide an organization name, as well as legal entity name and address. In the next step, you'll have the opportunity to review and accept the organization terms and conditions. If you'd like, you can download a copy to your computer. Once you've reached the terms and conditions, click the checkbox and the Accept button to continue. The final step prompts you to add team members to your organization if you would like to. This can be done later once you're in Operations Center. So in this example, we will just click Done to continue. Now that you're into your Operations Center account, you'll be prompted to confirm the automatically assigned time zone based on your address. You can accept the suggested time zone or click the Update Organization Preferences link if you would like to change the time zone manually. Your creation of your Operations Center organization is now complete. Now it's time to fill your Operations Center with data. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other how to.